Introductions, Regulations, and Duties. Topics to be covered in this module. What is working at height? Examples of working at height. Risks from working at height. WAHR 2005. Duties. What is working at height? When you speak about working at height, the immediate perception is that an employee is engaged in manual labor, whilst perched on a ladder or platform suspended some distance from the ground. But although this is basically correct, the full definition of working at height covers any procedure where a person could be potentially injured or harmed from falling any distance. This can even apply to tasks set at ground or below ground level if there is sufficient distance for a body to fall and impact upon a hard surface. Therefore, working in a large underground space can still be as dangerous to employees as tasks set outside high buildings or on roofing. It is generally accepted that a sudden fall from a high place around head height can cause fatalities or serious harm. Examples of working at height There are plenty of traditional and non-traditional jobs that will entail working from a height. This will generally involve individual performing manual tasks whilst positioned on trestles or scaffolding, flat roofing, ladders or cherry pickers, formwork or temporary building constructions, at ground level, close to a pit or excavation, at any level, close to fragile material that may collapse. Trades and occupations may also include this kind of work, such as window cleaners, builders and construction workers, decorators and maintenance workers, shelf stackers at factories or shops, packers at warehouses, firefighters. Risks from working at height According to the most recent statistics from HSE, Health and Safety Executive, and RIDDOR reporting of injuries, diseases, and dangerous occurrences regulations, the most common cause for fatalities at the workplace in the UK is a fall from a height. Over a quarter of fatal injuries to workers during the last five years were caused specifically by this type of accident, with 26% tragically dying due to injuries sustained. This is an average of 37 fatal injuries per year, and many of them were due to avoidable situations. A fall at work also accounts for 8% of non-fatal injuries that were measured, which demonstrates how relatively dangerous height-related accidents can be. The risk of a fall can be complicated or triggered by many different things, such as loss of a balance or illness affecting a worker, faulty or shoddy equipment, environmental or weather changes, high winds, frost, condensation, etc., ineffective procedures or safety protocols not being followed, fragile material being unable to support the intended weight, unexpected structural instability. What are the most common causes of accidents while working at height? The most common causes of injuries or fatalities in the workplace generally occur from construction and or roofing work. Roof work is especially high risk to employees. 
and the most common cause of accidents comes from individuals who fall from outside roofing areas when not appropriately secured, fall through fragile or unstable sections of roof, fall whilst working on external or internal ceiling or roof lights. This can occur on a variety of work environments such as construction sites, factories, warehouses or agricultural buildings. The work involved is usually just scheduled maintenance or repair work or rudimentary cleaning duties. Many of these accidents will be as a result of a worker stepping onto areas that will not support their weight, such as unsupported ceiling tiles, roof lights, rusted or worn metal sheets, glass panes, rotted or splintered wooden panels. Other high-risk jobs include gutter clearing, window cleaning and shelf stacking. What do you need to consider when making plans for working at height? When scheduled work is being organized at a high level from the ground or at least involves the risk of a sudden fall, the following considerations should be taken into account. In a warehouse, a shop or a factory environment, you must make sure that all loose store materials and shelving are secured and sturdy. Where appropriate, structures and shelving must be proven to support the weight required. Any emergency procedures, fire, evacuation, etc. must be planned for to ensure that any individuals are not placed at extra risk or isolated during any unforeseen incidents. If the work is taking place outdoors, the weather forecast should be consistently checked and the work should be cancelled if extreme conditions are expected. Any roofing or above the ground flooring should be checked every time to ensure it can take the support individuals during the work. Where there is a risk of falling objects, bricks, tiles, EDC. Workers must either be sheltered or take appropriate safety precautions. Ensure bystanders or the general public is aware of any work in the vicinity. WAHR 2005 The main UK legislation that covers all aspects of employees working at height is the Work at Height Regulations 2005, sometimes known as WAHR 2005. The guidelines contained in WAHR designed to protect all workers engaged in high specific work, from roofing repairs to unloading stock from trucks or containers. The legislation relies on common sense and basic questions about the work in question. Can any of the work be done from the ground? Is there reliable equipment that can be safely used to perform the work? Can anything be put in place to minimize the distance or risk of a potential fall? If you are an employer of the PIC, person in charge of the work detail, you are responsible for these regulations being adhered to. How do you comply with these regulations? In order to ensure that the legal obligations contained within WAHR are followed, all employers and PICs should ensure all work that can realistically be performed at ground level is done so. Employees 
can get to the work area without any risk to the well-being. All necessary equipment and safety gears are in good working order. The work is planned carefully before it commences and that a full risk assessment has been completed. The work is undertaken by competent individuals and appropriately supervised. The progress of the work is constantly updated and safety protocols changed as necessary. How do you decide if someone is competent to work at height? It is important that the right choices are made when employees are tasked with work at height. They should always have previous experience, appropriate skills, and good knowledge of the area. If the worker is performing a low-risk task or are undergoing basic training, then an entry-level employee may be appropriate, as long as the required supervision or guidance is available. For slightly more complex or important tasks, the following factors should also be taken into consideration with the workforce. Full training for the equipment and work to be completed, and possibly certificated evidence of this. Health and safety awareness to be confirmed by the workers involved. Risk assessments and work plans to be documented and agreed with the workers. Constant lines of communication to be available with the PIC. Appropriate deputies or replacements to be identified beforehand in case of sudden sickness or absence. Duties Both employees and employers hold duties and responsibilities where work at height is concerned. Employer duties If you are an employer or a property or business owner, who controls work at height tasks, then you are legally obliged to follow all of the regulations contained in WAHR 2005. See previous slides. Along with these aforementioned regulations, this basically means that you must take responsibility for your employees' well-being and protection which would include appropriate training organization, availability of essential equipment, maintenance of said equipment, installation of health and safety protocols, inspection of work sites before and after tasks, identify and mitigate possible risks, permanent record of the work to be documented and stored, if possible, Liaise with architects or building planners to prevent unnecessary height work. Employee duties. Employees not only have a legal responsibility to comply with the employers, but also take reasonable actions to ensure their own safety. To confirm that these responsibilities are upheld, all employees taking part in working at height should report any safety concerns or perceived hazards to senior personnel and employers, comply with the recommended use of provided equipment and safety devices, unless they believe it will cause harm to themselves or others, perform personal research and inspection to ensure that they are happy with conditions prior to work taking place. Ensure that they are fully aware of all appropriate instructions, emergency procedures, and safety protocols. Summary In this module, we have covered the following points. Workplaces still have significant fatalities every year from accidents that occur when an employee works at height. An employee does not need to be working high above ground level to suffer risks or injuries. 
Accidents most commonly occur during roofing work rather than any other type of height-related labor. Legally binding UK regulations are in place to protect workers and staff from risks during height-related tasks. Responsibilities are held by both employees and employers in terms of general safety.